I'm Dave, this is Eddie Foster. Uh, I'm entering the 2013 NPC Nationals this year as a welterweight. Uh, we just got done um, filming myself doing uh, delts and uh, just prepping for the contest in eight days. And um, just gonna go out there and give it all we got and uh, hope for the best. What's up, MD? This is Frank Moonbrack here with Eddie Foster. Uh, we just finished doing shoulders, like he said. We're eight days out from nationals. This thus far is the best package Eddie has bought um, to this point, which is saying a lot because he, uh, he's been close to his pro card top five a few times. So hopefully this year nationals, you know, top two get their pro card. So we're looking to at least get one of them. Trying to win the class, of course, though, but trying to get one of them. Shoulders uh, definitely one of my favorite exercises to do. It's a, a strong point of mine. Um, I feel like uh, my shoulders are well rounded, um, and I've always I've always worked hard at uh, at uh, hitting shoulders and, and every body part as well. But that definitely I would say it would have to be my uh, best body part to do for sure. Shoulders. Okay, well basically like right now, starting with the 80s. Um, just trying to get get some blood flowing and then um, doing the supersets just trying to just push as much blood into the muscle that I could and uh, just uh, at this point eight day being eight days out I could actually go heavier than the 80s but I'm trying to avoid injury at all costs um, not growing at this point so just trying to get through knock on wood injury free and uh, just get get to the stage and uh, you know just give it all I got Eddie, Eddie's been doing this for a long time. He's a uh, thirty something. <laughs> he's forty something years old. Um, but so he's been doing it for a long Thanks, time. Coach. <laughs> so he had that type of muscle maturity that just pops. Um, he the, the dude is in shape all year long. I mean, yeah, I try to. You know, I, I put I put some pictures up about a month and a half ago, and I have a couple of welterweights doing the show. And they're like, is he gonna is he gonna maintain his condition? Is he gonna keep his conditioning? At that point, Eddie was still like 185, 186. So we're talking about like 20 pounds over the weight class that he's gonna compete in. I mean, he, he always brings the conditioning. I just think, um, has he nailed it? I think he has been the best bodybuilder on that welterweight stage, but he hasn't gotten the publicity yet that he's needed to. And, you know, thanks to MD for doing the video. Um, you know, a, a lot of stuff has to do with we're showing your face in this industry. And, and again, you know, th thanks to MD, um, Jeff, of course, Dina, yeah, Steve Blackman. Um, so we appreciate the opportunity. And Absolutely. hopefully, you know, the video's being out there now, you know, they get to see who Eddie Foster is. They've seen him at the national stage already, finished top five a couple of times. So I, I think this was a good, uh, you know, a very good opportunity for everybody to actually see him train and, and see what it looks, looks like eight days off from the show. So I started competing in 2004. It's actually, uh, a, pr a pretty pretty un unique story that I have I've told uh, when I started at regional level um, one of the uh, judges was Lori Steele who works for Division of Marine Fisheries and I've actually been a commercial fisherman for years and I had Lori actually approach me and ask me like you know you you're a fisherman and you do this so anyway um, so that's, that's how I started. And then after my second regional show, regional level show, I had judges approach me and tell me that I had pro level thickness and conditioning already. That I, that I should, you know, go to the next step. Move up to, you know, like a junior nationals or, you know, like a USA or something like that. So that's when like, then I started, you know, getting I, I just I just had more I was just more passionate about the bodybuilding and I actually got out of the commercial fishing to pursue this now and um, basically it, 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 it's it's been a it's been a long road um, I have no regrets um, I enjoy what I do I enjoy the whole lifestyle of the bodybuilding and you know the it's just it's just you know the clean eating and um, but um, yeah, I just, I just, I gave up a lot to get into this actually, because I, I owned my own boats, and when I got to like the national level, it was just too tough to try to do both, to commercial fish that type of, you know, labor and do this. So I actually, 
I'm not saying like I gave that up completely. I could always go back to it because I've done it for years. I gave it up in 09, 2009. Okay. I had decided um, I just I just couldn't I couldn't handle both. The last four years I've been personal training, and you know I mean in, in the area that I'm from, it's just it's it's not you know the greatest area financially so it's not very lucrative nothing compared to what I you know was doing commercial fishing but I'm just it's this is just my passion right now and I just it, it's 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 this is just so challenging and and I, I believe that's why I actually did the commercial fishing too because that's a challenge in it on its own it's a very hard job you don't have a paycheck every week you have to actually go out and earn your paycheck and find it in the ocean and I find this it's just uh, I, I wrestle with my mind with this because I want to get to the top, and it's just so challenging to do it. And um, you know, I mean, hopefully, you know, having Fakri in my corner, I mean, it's made a huge difference in the last couple of years where I've gotten with this. So I, I hope I can get it done and just uh, achieve my goal, which is just to earn pro status and Absolutely. take it from there. Eddie contacted me 2011. Yep. Eddie 10. 10? 10. Wow, 2000. Yep. Time flies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 2010. And uh, we've done four national shows. Yeah. Yeah. Done four national shows. Yeah, all of them top one. five. Yeah. Actually, no. One was the, the first one we did was nationals. Um, he didn't make the welterweight class. He was like 167. Yeah, was so they put him in the middleweight class. He was still the hardest middleweight on stage, but he gave up a lot of size. The other, the other show we've done as a welterweight, he's been top five. Um, Missed the pro card by one place last year, yeah. and uh, you know, just just to go back real quick to what he was saying about his old job as a commercial fisherman, Eddie gave gave up a lot. I did a lot. I really did financially yeah. to to jump into bodybuilding. A lot. Um, he deserves it, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I hope he gets it, and you know, he he's one of the guys that really, 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 really do deserve it. Yeah, no, I I just I just would like to say, I mean, I I thank you guys, MD, for the opportunity. And Fakri for you know getting me involved with you guys. It's a, it's a, it's a, a great opportunity, and uh, I I appreciate it honestly. Uh, well, I'd like to thank my girlfriend, first of all. She's very supportive of me, uh, Kara, and uh, my family's very supportive. Uh, my friends, of course, Tim, Matt, and all my friends back at home, they're all rooting and cheering on for, for a victory here, and, uh, and that's pretty much about it. Oh, I just want to thank Muscle Development again, uh, mm -hmm. you, Jeff, Adina, of course, um, Steve Blackman, uh, being a Beth Francis Jim, you know, thanking Steve Weinberger. I'd like to say, thank Steve Weinberger also as well, sorry. And uh, <laughs> definitely, for sure, Powerhouse Jim for this opportunity. And Beth Francis as well. Beth Francis, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys.